previously on The Walking Dead. Get the gates open! We've got wounded! I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. You've been good to me and my family. You saved Duck from those monsters, and you stood up to Larry at the drugstore. I won't forget that. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. Those look like the people who raided my Calm camp. Calm down, you're paranoid. Fuck you! Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? That's right. I know who you are, and I know you're a killer. He's not dead! Somebody help me! Come on! We know this guy's not gonna make it! No! <laughs> Sounds like a car. It's a shitload of food and supplies back here. We have to take this, Clementine. We need it to survive. Don't worry, little girl. Bandit's got their eye on that dairy. As long as they keep getting food from them, you'll be safe. Nigga back in Macon, yeah. Um, looks like this is our lucky day. Right. Yeah, this might actually go smoothly. We deserve it after last time. Oh, wait on a minute. Last time? Where? Hello? Is that the time that helicopter crashed into the fucking uh, whatever that is? Lee, where do you come down on staying or going? You mean, packing up the motel and getting in the RV? Yeah, we've been talking about it, but have you made up your mind yet? Uh, maybe? Maybe we split up then. Split up? If I thought that wasn't suicide, I'd have been gone a long time ago. Okay, so... Okay. Just like last time. Over the rig, into the pharmacy, and scrape together whatever supplies are left. Yeah, yeah. We didn't leave much in there. Hey, we're out of options. Something's better than nothing. <laughs> yeah, medicine is always the big ticket item. Shit. Nice you one, okay? Kenny. The ladder's come loose. I'm not sure how many more trips she's got in her. I'm not sure how many more trips we've got in us. No kidding. Helicopter? So much for the military. Yeah, stupid assholes landed it into that uh, store there. Looks like she's had it. What now? I'll find another way up. We better get a move on. Uh, because we're in video games where you There's can't... There's no safe way through that man. You can't uh, go around, you can't uh, climb up, because video games. Invisible barriers and shit. Kenny, come on. Yeah, Kenny, come on, man. Uh, shit. Stop Damn complaining. It. I can't reach. Sure you can. Sorry, pal. All right, stay put. Right. Pussy! I actually think I remember what to do here. Huh. They're blocked by all the fallen concrete. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think I have to push the... 
the car or oh no i have to yeah i have to um yeah not gonna work i have to attach the cable cable thing to the truck the winch there you go looks like it still works of course it works Lily's not doing so good, huh? Uh, we killed her dad, man. Well, we killed her dad. See? We did kill her dad. Yeah, we did kill her dad. Th well, actually, technically, he was already dead because he, of that heart attack. We killed him again. Or for good. Right. Okay, let's hope this won't make a lot of noise. If it does, we are fucked. The girl's still upset with you for agreeing to take that stuff from the station wagon? Ah, uh, she'll get over it. I think she understands. Hope so. Not like we had much choice. Right. Right. She'd be she'd be even more pissed at me if we were all dead because we didn't have food. Duck was asking about that guy at Herschel's farm last night. Really? I wasn't sure it phased him. Of course it did. Uh, of course it did. You're the guy who named him Duck. Get over it. Herschel's son is one of how many now? We've all seen a lot worse. He's a tough kid, you know. Like I said, not much phases him, but it's starting to add up. Farm, the dairy. I need to get to the coast. Get him out of all this madness. You need to extend your fucking arm and help me up. You're sure you're up for this? Lee, I'm fine. I've got this. Give me your hand. Huh? <laughs> Shit! Oh, man. What the fuck was that? Yeah, nice one. Jesus. Are you okay? I'm fine. Shit. I'm sorry, pal. I thought it'd be healed up better. You're lucky it wasn't any worse. You could have. <laughs> what the fuck is that sound? Go away! Go! Help me! Somebody help me! Somebody help her! What the, what the hell is that? A walker? Walkers don't scream, do they? Jesus, I don't think so. We gotta help her, man! It's a girl. We have to help her. How? There's no getting to her. We gotta do something! Uh... Fuck. We gotta shoot her. Put her out of this misery. You know we're here. What do you mean? I mean, we leave her alive and she draws them all to her. Buying us time. Can't think about it. We're always worrying about the ones we can't see. She stays alive and brings them all out of their holes. Oh, he's making a lot of sense, but I can't do it. I can't do it. Ah. That was a nice shot, actually. No! Go eat the fucking corpse! Let's move. Uh, that tone looks a little flimsy to me. Right. Well! That was interesting. Fuck! Incoming! Come on, Lee! Dirty as hell, but we ain't got much time. Get everything you can out of these racks. Don't forget underneath the counter this time. Yeah, yeah. All clear down here, and then we gotta go. Take it. Take. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Take, take, take. Take, 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 take. Take, 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 take. Take everything. Leave nothing. Hey! 
everything. Take, 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 Come on, 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 Son of a bitch! Q! 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 Come on, Q! Fridge! Fridge! Come on! Nice! Now, let's fucking get out! Kick him, come on! Look at fuck! Shoot him, Kenny! What the fuck are you doing? Could you, could you stop staring? Come on, come on. God damn, that was close, as far as close encounters come. She's talking on the walkie again. You're back. Huh? Ben found some stickers in a drawer, and I put them on my walkie. Hey, sweet pea. That's neat. I'll find you in a minute. That's neat and adorable. And she's wearing the hoodie. Looks like we got the kid on watch again. What'd you get? We might as well leave a sign out that says the men are gone. Come and rape our women and children. Yeah. Ha. ha. So, what did you get? Everything. A lot of stuff. We're fine, by the way. Nice work. This will keep us going. If we carry on like this, we'll get through the winter here. The winter? We'll freeze our asses off here. He's piling into an RV with you two. After what you did to my dad is so appealing. Why wouldn't it be? You know, I'll do what it takes to keep everyone safe. We're already safe. Take a look at the wall, Lily. That's not graffiti. Those are bullet holes. And we got enough arrow shafts sticking out of it to dry our laundry. We do whatever is best for the kids. Doesn't that make sense? It's suicide out there. We'll die in here. You're right. You could see someone sleeping and kill one of us. At it again, are we? Yes, they Can are. Can it, Carly. Don't boss people around. I'm sorry. Somebody needs to make executive decisions for the group, though. And I don't think you're capable anymore. And don't start with me, either. Everything can't come down to the same disagreement. Lily, Kenny's got some legit points here. I'm so tired of it being you two versus me. Damn it. I'm not on anyone's side, Lily. These decisions affect everyone. What about the food situation? What about protection? What about when this place falls? Somebody's got to be thinking about this shit. How has this not been working? We have everything we need. Because of me, Lily. That's BS, Kenny. And you know What about it. medicine? What about medicine? We deal with shit as it comes, just like we always do. And when 15 bandits hop over that wall in the middle of the night? What then? You just gonna deal with that? Everything that happens to us is another excuse for you to pull this crap about leaving. All I want is a week of peace, of not hearing it. We wouldn't even be fighting about our medicine and supply stocks if Lee hadn't fucked up downtown. What the fuck? What do you mean? Some girl came screaming out of an alley. She had dead hanging all over her. She was making enough noise that we would have had plenty of time to get what we needed. Instead, smart guy shot her. He what? He put her out of her misery. Stupid. Instead of what? Letting her suffer? I couldn't let her suffer. We're all suffering. Some more than others. We've been putting our lives on the line doing these runs into the city. 
You wouldn't believe the shit we see. We all appreciate it, Ken. Uh. We all should be given Lee hell for not doing what needed to be done. It's not so easy for him. Oh. Look, Macon and its hey. people aren't savable. It's not a town. It's full of walkers. And the people who were left are dying and wandering out onto the streets. It's hell on earth. And it's coming this way. It's not going to be easier out on the road. How would you know? What I know? I know you're not above murder. I know somebody has been stealing our supplies. That's right, stealing. And I know the list of people I can trust here gets smaller every day. Now everybody get out. Oh, man. She's fucking pissed off, man. Nice one, Kenny. She'll get over it. She's riling everybody up otherwise. You understand, Ken. She's right about one thing. None of this is getting any easier. Oh, that backward look oh, from Katya. Coming to a head. You could say that. Well, I think you did good today. And I find myself thinking that most days. Thanks. Yeah, do you know? It's probably worth following up with Lily about what she was saying about missing supplies. With her wound up the way she is, I don't want to see her paranoid. No question. And I'd like to talk when you've got a minute. Sure thing. Um. Oh. A backward look. Oh, she wants it. She wants it bad. She wants it so bad. Right. Okay. Let's uh, talk to Clementine. Hey, Clementine. Hey, Lee. What you What's doing? What you working on, Clem? It's called a leaf rubbing. My teacher, Miss Moore, showed us how to do them when we went to the botanical garden once. See, it's the same. Um, kind of. Oh, that's really something. I'll make one for you, too. Do you like it here? I don't like it here. Do you want to leave? Where are we going? Somewhere else. I don't know. Maybe if I knew where? Yeah, that'd be a good thing to know. I'll talk to you later, Clem. Okay. That was the worst conversation I ever heard. Ah, <sighs> right. Hey, you two. How are you doing? We're okay. Just having a little spat. We all carry guns now, and I don't like it. It's the way it's gotta be. I know, but I'm not getting used to it. I'm sorry. How are you, Lee? Um, hungry? Uh, horny? Uh, uh... You need to try harder with Lily. You guys got to straighten this out. I don't know how straight we can get it, given all that's happened. So what then? Time will come. We'll have to do what's best for our families. And that's what we'll do. I think that's uh, he's saying is gonna leave. You guys uh, trust everyone here? More or less. I obviously have my problems with Lily, but I don't distrust her. Yeah, we can't turn on each other any more than we have. About the guns. About the guns. Don't you start. I just wanted to say, Cat, it's probably good they make you uncomfortable. Thank you, Lee. <sighs> but we need them. There's no doubt about that. I'll talk to you later. That's it. Placate both of them. That's nice. Well done, Lee. Best. Okay, so, um, RV. Sounds like Kenny actually has that thing running. I'll believe it when I see it. Hey, Ben. What's up, Lee? Still being useless? Have you seen anything weird on the watch? Is there anybody out there up to anything? Nope. Really quiet. Really? Yeah, totally. Which is good. Which is very good. What do you think about Lily? She scares the crap out of me. <laughs> That's a reasonable thing to feel. I'm just worried she's going to snap. Snappity snap snap. Did you ever come down here to Macon much? I didn't have much reason to. 
My parents would let me take the car into the city on the weekend, but what's in Macon? It's kind of a waste of time compared to Atlanta. I grew up in Macon. Oh, I didn't mean to say it's crappy or anything. It's super nice. I mean, not now, but I bet it was. Is... <laughs> Calm down. Talk to you later, Ben. Calm Bye. down, nigga. I'm not gonna kill you or anything. Anyway... Uh, let's talk to Lily about the invisible wall over oh, next to the RV. God damn it. Or yeah, let's uh, let's talk to Carly. See what she has to say. Talk to Lily yet? Nope. No, not yet. I will. What I wanted to say was. I've been thinking a lot about you. Have you now? I think about you too. <laughs> Our group is small. You're small. You're a convicted killer. Carly, Jesus. And I think people should know. Not because they deserve to, and not because you're a bad man. I think the opposite of those two things. People need to know because we're hanging by a thread here, and I can't see Lily talk about you without thinking it's the next thing she's going to say. You don't have to tell everyone, but think about who you trust and take the opportunity while you have it. Okay. You're probably right. Of course I'm probably right. People might be pissed. And telling them might cause some trouble, but it will be a far cry from what'll happen if they don't hear it from you. Yeah. So you'll do it then? I'll let people know. You're totally right. Good. I think it's for the best. Don't call me small. Well, you are small. Which I like. I like... Now is there anything else you want to talk about? Uh... Do you feel safe here? Show me a bath with a heated floor and a high-rise apartment and hand me a full-bodied Malbec and then I'll feel safe. I don't know, this place is fine, but we all know that that could change at any second. You, uh, have any thoughts about Lily? I worry about her, that's about it. She keeps trying to run things, but it's just not working. You really think people are ready to hear about me? It's not a matter of ready or not. There's never going to be a good time, but there are going to be a lot of bad ones. Right now doesn't seem like one of them. But everyone's different. Who knows how each person would take it, you know? Maybe it's worth thinking about who you want to tell. I'm going to look into this thing. Good idea. She is small, and I honestly like small bitches. I mean women. I mean, yes, women. Women don't like it when you call them bitches, FYI. I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize. Did you come in here to give me hell or to coddle me? Both, maybe? I don't know. Jesus, woman! I wanted to follow up on what you said about stolen supplies. Do you know what's going on? I don't. I just heard you mention it. And you came in here to confess? I'm not stealing shit. I came in here to help. There's a traitor. Somebody. One of us. Out there. He or she or they have been taking things. He or she or they, you say? For real? Who? What do you got? Yes, for real. And I don't have shit. I just know. Lily. It counts off and it's the good stuff. Antibiotics, oxy, fuck, anything with opium in it. I see the count, and it's fine. I keep my own. That one's getting messed with. I'm a fucking mess right now, but I'm not stupid. I know what happens if I start a witch hunt. So you want me to start one? I want you to poke around. What's there to go on? I found this tossed into the garbage. Hmm. Huh. We don't toss out equipment, we fix it. You'd only try to get rid of a flashlight if you're using it when you shouldn't. That actually makes sense. 
Okay, I'll poke around a little bit. Thank you. If you don't find anything, I'm just going to assume it's you. Really? A mystery. What the Jesus fuck? Doc. I'm sorry. Um, I heard you guys talking. You need to unhear all of that. <laughs> can I help? What did I just say? You're the Grace Detective, and I can be Dick Grayson, your ward. That's Robin. I know who it is. Jesus Christ, Doc. Ugh. You can help. Don't tell anybody. Secrecy. Secrecy. Yeah, good. What do I do? I, I don't know. Go look around. Let me know if you find anything weird. I'm on the case. So he's not only useless, he's also annoying. No, don't go up. God damn it, stupid game. Do you know anything about this flashlight? It's broken. I know it's broken. <laughs> and the batteries might be in backwards. Nice one. Nice one. It uses just one. Everything should. What was the question? Did you break the flashlight? No. Okay. I'll talk to you later. I'll talk to you later. This was the most adult conversation I've ever heard in my life! Hey, Clementine. Hey, Lee. You didn't accidentally break a flashlight, did you? No. Did Duck say I did? No. Did uh, Duck break the flashlight? <laughs> I don't think so. He's just always blaming me for stuff. Like what? Putting a bug on his pillow. Did you do that? Yes. <laughs> nice one, Clem. Nice one. Do it again. Do you guys know anything about this broken flashlight? Fuck. We don't got many of those. Yeah, it's a problem. The glass and the bulb are all busted out. I saw some broken glass over by the ice machine. I meant to clean it up before the kids hurt themselves on it. I forgot, though. Thank you, Katya. See, this is useful information, Kappa. Why am I... Why am I looking out here? Okay. Anything? Anything? Nope, nope, nope. I even asked this useless cunt about it. Okay. A flashlight was broken. Was it you? No. You're not in trouble if it was. I know you get nervous and maybe you went out to go to the bathroom, broke it, got worried and tossed it. What's with the third degree? I didn't break any flashlight. Okay, then. Calm down, Ben. Jesus Christ. You're a grown... Well, not a grown-ass man, but sort of a man. Okay, let's see. Here we go. There's some broken glass on the ground there. So pick it up! Hmm. What the, what the? There's something drawn there. Hmm. Chalk. Pink. Duck. A clue. Maybe. What do you think it is? I don't think it's anything. Maybe it's a sign. A it sign from up high. It's pink chalk, which is weird. Okay, back to investigating. Oh no, Clementine uses chalk. Please don't tell me it's her. Spoiler alert, I know it's not her, but my Lee doesn't know it's her. It's not her. Yeah. Hey, Clementine. Hey, Lee. Do uh, you have any pink chalk? No, it's gone somewhere. Hmm. Do you want blue? No, no, it's okay. Psst, Lee. 
I found something. What is it? I found this piece of pink chalk and a scuff of it over by the gate. Really? Totally. I was calling the scene for clues and... Yeah, Duck, I got it. Good <laughs> job. Yeah, Duck, shut your fucking mouth. Thanks for the help. Wow, really? You, he wants a high five? Cool. Wow. Cool. Cool. More chalk. It's the chalk inception. Right. Somebody was over here too. See, I did good, huh? Yes, you did. Yeah, duck, you did. Now you can fuck off. I suppose I should go out there and look around. You stay here this time. Seriously. Okay. Honestly, I wouldn't mind it if he got killed. He's literally the most annoying character I've ever heard. Okay. Where's the... Whoa, what the hell? Hello? There's a grate down there. No shit. Open it! <clears throat> Son of a bitch. Son of bitch. <laughs> Son of bitch. You haven't come up with anything, have you? I came up with this. It's got a bunch of meds in it. It was in a grate on the outside wall. And there's a sign on the other one. Holy fuck. Yeah. Holy fucking shit. Okay, we line everybody up. Everybody. Somebody is killing us. Stealing from that supply is the same as slipping into your room at night and cutting your throat while you sleep. You die. What is the difference? What if Clementine gets sick and we don't have what we need? What the hell? What the hell? You don't fucking steal from us! Who the fuck is that? Yo, We've got man, our people out there! Out here. We ain't fucking around! What do we do? Oh Lily. shit! They're gonna start kicking indoors any second! Lily, what the hell are you- Stall them! What? Just keep them talking. Do whatever it takes to stop him pulling the trigger. You made the biggest mistake of your life! God damn it.